Hey guys, Gadget Man here with nothing but gadgets, and today we've got a special for you. Today, I'm going to be doing a head-to-head -head versus battle between the My Gecko Gear Aegis 100 body cam and the Bob Love 32 gigabyte body cam. So, three, two, one, let's get at it. All right, so what's this test about? Well, I recently did a review for this body camera right here on my channel. This one actually is one of the very first products I reviewed for my channel way back when I first started. And it's been one of my most popular reviews and I've gotten hundreds of questions about it and things. So people really have a lot of questions about this camera. And since I just got this one and this is a newer product and this is like, like over a year old, um, you know, I thought I would pit them one against the other and see if this is an improvement over this one here. So let me go ahead and just show you what I've got here. Now this is the Bob Love, okay? And it actually, I've used it quite a bit, taking it fishing and stuff, and I, and I really don't have any complaints about it. Um, some people have some questions about it and stuff, but we will get into that later. Let me break this guy out of the box here. And we'll just compare them uh, one to the other uh, in form factor. Okay, so there you go. This one is a little bit smaller, not not a, a whole terrible amount smaller, but it is smaller. Okay, turn them around here. This has got its clip on it. The other one doesn't. Okay, so let's do a startup test. So I'm going to press the Bob Love and them together. Press. Okay, so this one, you just touch the button once it starts up. This one, you have to hold the button down for a couple seconds before it starts up, okay? Okay, so let's talk about batteries. Okay, so the My Gecko Cam, it has an internal built-in battery, which you charge via this little port right here. So it only has one battery. The Bob Lub has a removable battery, which you can remove by moving this down and opening this door. There's the battery right there which you can remove by pulling the battery out right here. And it, in the kit that I bought, it came with two batteries and a double charger, which you can uh, charge the camera with the battery in it directly by clipping it in and charge your additional battery by sticking it here in the front. Okay, so I'm going to do some head-to-head -head testing, testing all the different aspects of this camera video-wise one against the other, and I'm going to come back and show you all the results. So hold on. All right, guys, so I took these out and put these head-to-head -head and did a lot of testing with them, and now we're coming back to show you the results. So let's go ahead and let's jump right into the video samples. So essentially, I turned these on. I set them to maximum quality, um, both to 2K. Um, one little side note, the... Bob Love does have an additional 2K format. It has two 2K formats. One is an ultra wide and one is a standard widescreen or wide shot. Um, and the uh, Aegis 100 here doesn't have the ultra wide. So I just set them both to the same exact format. But they're both 2K, all right? So uh, I held them in my hands like this as I was walking uh, down the trail. And I'm just going to start playing here. I was just taking a nature walk here and doing some different things. Um, and so you can see them there. They're, neither one of them have any kind of stabilization. So any kind of movement, you're going to see that there. Um, there is no settings in them to actually turn on stabilization. They just don't have stabilization, okay? So if you're wearing them on your body, it's going to be shaky video. But it is good quality video, all right? Um, so... Now, I also took pictures with them as I was walking. I tried to take different colors of pictures, yellows, whites, purples, um, to kind of see how they do color balance. And I got to be honest that both of them did pretty well. They shot great quality video, um, and the color balance was really good. Um, the, it was a kind of a partially cloudy day, so the sun was out and the cloud, then it was cloudy and a little bit less light, stuff like that. So they did really good in that. So I'm just going to throw up some pictures while I'm talking here. Um, I took some pictures of some yellow flower, wildflowers, of some purples, um, some whites, and some sunflowers, 
you know, and they, they all, both of them did pretty good in that. Here's a landscape shot that I took side by side here. Um, and here's one picture with a deer feeder and it's kind of facing towards the sun. Okay. Now, um, I'm going to have to give the edge to the Aegis 100 here on picture. Uh, it did handle lighting better. The Bob Love did have some good pictures, but especially that one where the deer feeder was when it was facing the light. Whenever I turned towards the light, the Bob Love got dark um, on the pictures and in the video. Uh, and I'll run that as I'm talking. You can see that uh, they're both pretty good as long as I'm not facing the light. But the Bob Love did not handle shooting towards any kind of a bright surface as well as the Aegis 100. So both in picture and video quality, I'm going to hand it slightly the edge to to my the uh, the Aegis 100 here on that. Although both of them did well. Okay. Um, now night vision. So uh, I got at, I waited till I got dark and I have a uh, white propane tank, which is a good object to look at at night with night vision so you can see it. And I started at about 35 feet away and turned, you know, shot these video here. So let me show you the uh, Aegis 100. Okay, so there is a propane tank about 35 feet in front of me right there. I'm going to walk to it. Okay, turn around. That's the building I just came from, and I'm going to walk back towards it. Okay, and now the Bob Love. Okay, in the distance there's the same propane tank. Going to walk to it. And turn around. That's the building I came from. Walk back towards it. Okay, so it is clear that the Aegis 100 has the, the, the clear edge on, on night vision. It had a better, you could see the white propane tank better at 35 feet. Um, and when I got closer, the, the actual video was better than with the Bob Love. Now, um, both of them are usable, but, and the Bob Love really, in about 15 feet, gets a better quality image. Um, but, uh, the, the Aegis really took this one, uh, no question in the night vision capability. Both cameras have microphones, and I'm gonna let you hear samples so you can hear how good the microphones are. So, let, first, let's start with the Aegis. This is from my nature walk. And I'm just going to play the audio from one of those so that you can hear that. Okay, let me go ahead and let you hear the audio from the same exact thing for the Bob Love. Okay, now I'm going to do a little voice demo where I talked. So here's the Aegis 100. Okay, so there is a propane tank about 35 feet in front of me right there. I'm going to walk. And there. now let's do the Bob Love. Okay, in the distance there's the same propane tank. Okay, so now I'm going to talk about the technical aspects of what the cameras do. So... I charge both cameras fully. Now remember, the the Aegis 100 has an internal battery only, and the Bob Love has a replaceable or changeable battery. Okay, but I I took I start them started them both, and I let them shoot the 2K footage or video until the batteries died. So here's the results of that test. So um, I got four hours and 43 minutes of 2K quality uh, video out of the the uh the Aegis 100 so that's as long as the battery is going to last now if you shoot at 
1080p or 720p, you're going to get a lot more battery life because it takes a lot more power to shoot at 2K than it does uh, HD or at 720p, okay? So, the but at if you're going to shoot at 2K, um, this was the maximum life was, was 4 hours and 43 minutes, which I was actually very surprised for as small as this is to get that long of recording out of it. I thought that was pretty good. All right, now, um, the data size on the Aegis, uh, Aegis 100 was 18.8 gigabytes. So almost 19 gigabytes after four hours and 43 minutes of shooting. Um, so you could effectively probably get, um, a full eight hours of 2K footage on this camera if the battery would last that long or you powered it externally with something else. Unfortunately, you're not going to get eight hours on battery shooting at 2K. You're, you're only going to get less than five hours. Okay. But that's still a long time for 2K. All right. Now, um, the average data size per, per minute of video was 66 megabytes per minute of 2K video on this camera. Just a little technical note there. Uh, the images on this at max resolution were two megabytes per image. Uh, okay. Now let's talk about how the Bob Love did. Okay. So it has its internal battery. I mean, it's built, uh, exchangeable battery. And, um, I did same thing, 2K. Let it run till it ran out. I got three hours and 45 minutes out of the one battery in this. Okay. So this one lasted almost an hour longer than this. Just short two minutes. Okay. All right. Now, and, but the total data size was 26 gigabytes. Okay. And the total megabytes per minute of video. So one minute of the 2K video out of the Bob Love was 115 megabytes, almost twice the data size of the Aegis 100. Okay. And the images and the Bob Love was, were 2.2 megabytes. So that was about the same, same exact on both of those. All right. So, okay. So what do we learn here? Well, first of all, the, the Bob Love, I could actually take the battery out and put the other battery in and with both together get almost eight hours. I get seven and a half hours out of it. But the problem is it's a 32 gigabyte device and that 2K video, uh, three hours and 45 minutes equal 26 gigabytes. So you're only going to get four hours of 2K video out of it before the internal memory is totally filled up. So regardless of the exchangeable battery, you're not going to get it. Now, if you're filming with in 1080p or 720p, I think it would get a full eight hours of footage on there and pro possibly more. But the Aegis definitely could handle almost eight hours of two, 2K footage. And as you saw in the side-by-side -side samples of the videos, um, for twice the amount of data size, you're not getting that much, that much better footage than this. In fact, you're not getting any better footage than this. It looks about the same. So this, the Aegis 100 is much better at data management um, and compression and giving you good quality video. So it's going to take the award on that right there. It's going to win that. Okay. Um, in data management, the only bad thing is, is it doesn't last eight hours. So that's where the Bob Love, it comes out on top is that it actually can replace the battery and um, you could you could get a full eight hours out of it if you shot in a lower quality, say 1080p. You probably could get ten t eight hours of footage out of it. Okay, all right. Now let's talk about some pros and cons. All right. So um, obviously, data management is a pro for the Aegis One One Hundred. Um, also, the little clip right here rotates. Okay, and you it means you can use it at different positions. Um, the rot the clip on this does not rotate. Um, but the clip on this covers the screen. So if you're trying to do something on the screen, you have to rotate it to get it out of the way. All right. Uh, on this one here, the clip does not cover the screen and you don't have to turn it. So, uh, it's an advantage and a disadvantage, but I like this clip on here. It's very strong and it'll hold on really good. The Bob Love, the smaller clip, it is strong, but it's not grabbing a whole lot. Okay. So, um, you know, that's six of one, half a dozen of the other. Okay, the uh, Aegis is smaller and lighter than the Bob Love, so that's a plus, a pro for it. The night vision is better, and the images are slightly better. Now, Bob Love. How does the Bob Love fare? Well, the thing that I really like about the Bob Love is the menu system. 
okay, or the menu navigation. On this here, I don't know if you can see this, you've got a menu button and then you've got up and down arrows and you've got an enter button for choosing things. The whole menu system is right here and you can navigate the menu system really easily from right here and basically the buttons tell you what they do. On the Aegis 100, it does. the buttons don't really tell you. You've got a menu and OK, but you actually have to use this button to go up and this button over here to go back. Um, and so it's, if you, you got to learn this system, it, it took me a while to figure out how to navigate it because it really doesn't have buttons that just tell you what it does. So the Bob Love, uh, 32 gigabyte has the better menu system. All right. Now another pro on it is the changeable battery, which we've already talked about. You can take the battery out and put a new battery. So you could have three or four batteries and you could record indefinitely with it without charging it. Um, the Aegis 100, if you run out of battery, you've got to turn, you've got to set it up on the charger and let it charge. And that may take a couple hours to fully charge it. So you could download the data off of this and put another battery in and be ready to go. And that you can buy additional batteries for it. Okay. Um, now the, the Bob Love has a couple of features that the Aegis 100 doesn't have. Now, both of them have lights that you can turn on, like flashlight. Um, I think they're intended. Let me go ahead and turn this on here. Okay. So right here, you can press this button and you can turn, turn a little light on. And if you wanted to take a, a picture at night or need a little flashlight, you could use that. Okay. That's pretty much all that does. The Bob Love, let me turn it on here. Okay, so it's on. It has a red dot. You press this button right here, and you got a red dot. Okay, it's got a red dot. All right. It also has a uh, a flashlight. The flashlight on it is actually a lot brighter than the one on the Aegis. Okay, so you could actually I've used this at night. I've actually had this for way over, a lot longer than a year, so I've used it a lot. Okay, so you've got the flashlight. Let me turn that off. Okay. Got something recording here. All right. Now, and it also has an alarm. So if you get in trouble and you need something to alarm, you can press the menu button down here and hold the menu button. Let me put it right here. And that will go until the battery turns off. So if you're wounded or you're hurt, and you can't call out, you can turn that on and that will run until the battery runs out. So you, and it's a little Morse code there so you could flash it and somebody could hear you. So it's got an alarm system for if you're incapacitated and you need someone to find you. So that's pretty cool. Let me turn that off. All right. Well, besides that, that's about the only differences that I have found in these two devices. Uh, one side note, the Bob Love does have this thing right here, which is intended for you to be able to hook it to a two-way radio and use it as a mouthpiece, which is this, a push to talk, where you could actually talk into it, okay? Um, and I honestly have searched high and low, and I have not been able to find an adapter of any kind of radio that could connect here. So it's a cool feature, but I've actually wanted to try this out and I have not been able to find the cable that plugs onto this that goes to a two-way radio. So Bob Love doesn't sell it and it, I can't find it anywhere on any kind of radio system that can connect to this. So cool idea, but I, I think they just kind of dropped the ball on that. All right, guys. Well, there you have it. There's all the results of all the testing that I did. So it gives you a side-by-side -side comparison. Both of these appear to be good cameras. The Bob Love I've had for... Uh, over a year and I've used it a lot and so I know it's a good camera I've had no troubles with it or anything the the Aegis 100 appears to be a really good camera it's solid built it's built like a little brick it it feels good and it, it performed well and actually took um, you know beat the Bob Love in several categories I wish it had a replaceable battery um, that would make it easier to use for long term in the field but it doesn't have that that's the only thing that 
uh, would keep this from beating the, the Bob Love all the way is because it has a built-in internal battery and it doesn't last a full eight hours. And that could be a problem if you need to use it on an eight hour, 10 hour job. Okay guys, well I hope you enjoyed this video. If you have, please like, subscribe, and comment. Until next time, this is the Gadget Man saying, I'll see you later.